Warner Paddles is rooted in whitewater. We're well known for our whitewater products. Many paddlers paddling on some of the steepest creeks and hardest rivers in the world trust our paddles and they're confident for them to get them down the river safely. First, we're gonna start with our ultimate performance line of paddles. We're looking at the Stikine right now. The Stikine offers a mid-sized blade. It, it provides a river running style shape. And when I talk about river running, that means we are putting the majority of the surface area of this blade at the tip. And that provides maximum efficiency when pulling the paddle through the water while pulling yourself through the water. Great for cruising down rivers, catching eddies, works for surfing, but we have another blade shape I'll talk about later that's better for play boating. This blade features our ultimate performance shape. It's nice and thick. So I find that these thicker profiles actually are even more important almost for whitewater. Um, when you are upside down and you got a rock coming at your face and you want to execute a quick roll, having that flotation to get that paddle up to the surface to execute that roll is critical. So you'll see a thicker profile shape. That white edge banding you see is called Dynel and it's a very tough material that we run through the edge of the blade to cut down on chipping. Okay, so the next paddle in our lineup is our powerhouse. And this has been the go-to for many, many years and the most trusted paddle by many of the best paddlers in the world. It features our premium laminate fiberglass material. And what we know about fiberglass is it's very highly impact resistant. We double up the material at the tip. You'll see it's got that nice river running profile slight dihedral in the center. This is a full size blade. Great option for those looking for the utmost in impact resistance. So the next paddle in our standard lineup is our Rio. The Rio features a nylon injection molded blade that we reinforce with fiberglass. And the model that you're looking at here right now is our four piece. Four pieces are a great option, not only for travel, as they break down small into a small package, but they're also essential for any whitewater boater because every whitewater boater needs a spare paddle. Whether you lose a paddle or you break a paddle, um, it could mean the difference of hiking out to the road or hiking 14 miles. It's really a safety option. So uh, we, we really promote paddlers utilizing a spare paddle. And we do offer our four piece option, not only in our injection molded blade, but also in our premium line of fiberglass paddles, such as our powerhouse or our Sherpa. The four piece option has a ferrule system that utilizes a simple snap style button. It goes together in a nice tight fit. One thing we do recommend is keeping these joints clean, cleaning them out from time to time. Uh, but again, a great option for safety and a, a must for any whitewater boater. And put this paddle together, simple push button. Grab the second half. Now it's important to not mix these parts up. You don't want to put the left side on the right side. Because all of our paddles are handcrafted, each one of these joints is special to its matching piece. So you see it goes together, nice tight fit, very user friendly and a very um, stable system that you can be confident in. Let's go ahead and take the four piece apart. Simply push the push button down. You'll see there's actually another hole here. And with certain models, we offer a zero degree option on our 45 
degree paddle, or if you want a 30 degree offset, you can get a left-handed 30 or a right-handed 30. So to take it apart, push this button in, pull it apart, grab your blade, pull that apart. Now it's important that if this, if you're putting this in the back of your boat, that you try to keep the pieces together. You don't want one of the pieces falling out if you're portaging um, and you don't want them rattling around in your boat. So either taping them together or finding a nice bag is also a good recommendation. About six years ago, we answered the market demand for building an outright whitewater race paddle. And what our engineers designed and came up with is what you see here today called the Odachi. The Odachi features a blade forward design and you'll see that there's quite an angle here and that the blade is actually in front of the shaft and what that does is it allows for a nice solid catch on the initial portion of your stroke as well as maximum fit efficiency while pulling the blade through the power phase of your stroke. A great option from go, for going from point A to point B as fast as you can. Uh, this is not a good option for your beginner or intermediate paddler. So the Adachi features our ultimate performance blade shape and profile. So it's gonna have the nice buoyancy you're going to get a nice release on the stroke at the end of your power phase. It features the Dynel edging around the blade to cut down on chipping. So the Surge features our blade forward design in our premium fiberglass material. A great option for those who are tough on their gear and are looking for the maximum impact resistance. Nice full size blade. You'll also see that it comes in this nice vibrant high definition color. This paddle shows up on the water. You see them everywhere. Again, a great option for intermediate to expert paddlers looking for maximum power, maximum efficiency from point A to point B with river running. Fiberglass shaft, combined with the fiberglass blades, makes this a go-to for those who are looking for that ultimate impact resistance. It's important to note that our Whitewater lineup offers two different styles of blade shapes. Our most popular shape found on our Powerhouse, on our Sherpa, Stikine, Shogun, Odachi, strike and surge are a river running style shape. It's the shape that has that surface area found here at the tip. As I manipulate this blade into a whitewater stroke, you'll see that this shape promotes good exposure of the power face to the water while taking forward strokes. About 70 to 80 percent of what we sell is our river running style blade. Works great. It works for surfing and play boating, but we also have another play boating style blade shape that works better for river maneuvers. For those folks who are showing up to park and play, uh, maybe mostly what they do is surf waves, go to small ledge holes, and you'll see the difference in this blade shape compared to our river running shape. It's almost got a downturned blade where more of the surface area is down here on the bottom portion. And what that surface area down low and up at the throat allows for is better connection to the water while doing play maneuvers. You can imagine right now if I'm surfing and I'm ruddering and I got my paddle up here, the wave and the water is coming at me, having a little more surface area down here at the bottom gives me a little more of a solid connection to the water and more control. Furthermore, having more surface area in this zone toward the throat of the blade also offers more stability when setting up for 
loops, all sorts of play maneuvers, um, hole tricks, and so forth. So consider a play boating blade um, if that's what you do mostly. However, I'll just tell you, look, both these blades are going to work for either application. One of them is just going to work better for one certain discipline than the other. So keep that in mind when you're looking to select a Warner Whitewater paddle.